SABC News, independent and impartial. From an African perspective. Welcome back to Africa Midday. It's 32 minutes after 1 o'clock. Zambia's meteorological department continues to report delayed on a set of rains in many parts of the country, and this is causing some anxiety in many, especially farmers. However, Arthur Davis Scopel, a Zambia correspondent, reports that there could be some good news soon. Here's a report from Lusaka. Temperatures are ranging between 22 and 35 degrees Celsius in most parts of the country, with extremes of 40 degrees in valley areas, and the rains are nowhere to be seen. By 10th December, Zambia's main crops, grown during the rainy season largely, maize, is supposed to have sprouted, and some almost reaching knee height. But it is not the case today, as people have not even started planting due to lack of rains. Zambia's meteorological department continues to report delayed of onset of rains in many parts of the country, and this is causing some anxiety in many, especially farmers. Edson Nkonde, Director of Meteorology at the Ministry of Green Economy, confirms the delayed rainfall. The below average rainfall has extended slightly uh, westward, which is now including parts of Lusaka and parts of southern province, the eastern parts, including central province. In most of the areas over the eastern half of the country was in red, indicating that the rains were going to start up to, in most places, up to the end of December. This is considered as not a strange phenomenon, as Ian Mwetua, an agricultural scientist, says it is linked to climate change brought about by the cutting down of trees, environmental pollution, among other negative factors. In DRC, where I was, that was in the Lua Laba province, the rains started on the, the 2nd of October and it has been raining. When you compare the deforestation in the DRC and the deforestation in Zambia, you would find that the, there's a very big gap. There's a lot of trees there, rivers are flowing and everything. So we see these factors, uh, I feel... Uh, they have contributed to the delay of the of the rainfall, and they've actually disturbed the, the, the rain pattern. Mr. Mwetua is a further concern that farmers may have challenges during this season and likely to pose a threat on food security of the nation. I've also visited a lot of farmers. The damage has already started to own information. Some farmers planted, planted now. You can uh, see the, the damage that uh, this has caused. You'd find that there will be a loss now. Some of the farmers are not even insured. A conservationist and a farmer, Ralph Shenton, is advising that there is need to have environmental preservation so that in times of need, water can be accessed. He is advising on ways that water from the rain can be preserved or conserved for future use. When you have a healthy environment, you also get the rainfall going into the soil. And when you have rainfall in the soil, it moves slowly to the river. It moves slowly through the ground and it feeds plants along the way. It feeds trees, feeds, feeds crops, feeds pastures. And that way we secure our water. The crisis we have right now is water running on the hard surface, which is bare and without plants. That causes floods, it erodes our topsoils, it destroys infrastructure. It is a very costly thing, probably more damaging than any nuclear bomb is water running on the surface. Government, through spokesperson Chushi Kasanda, who is also Information Minister, is now advising citizens, especially farmers, to look out for expert advice before they could go ahead in their agricultural activities this season. However, good news is coming from Director of Meteorological Department under the Ministry of Green Economy, Edson Nkonde, who is predicting that starting the 15th of December 2021, most parts of the country could start receiving rains. Improvement in the rainfall is going to happen after the 15th of December. We're anticipating the systems that give us rains to start propagating eastwards. From the 15th up to somewhere 22nd, 23rd, we are going to have most parts of the country receiving rainfall. But we are still watching the places of our eastern province, parts of Mchinga, parts of central province, the eastern parts of central province, and some portions of Lusaka province and southern province, where we still see below average rainfall up to the end of the, the year. According to changes in the rainfall patterns, this indeed could be said to be effects of climate change, and hopes 
are that countries could work in implementing some of the key mitigation measures of climate change, such as those discussed at international platforms like the Conference of Parties or COP meetings. And Africa, which is also affected by climate change and its effects, is yet to host the COP27, which will be held in Egypt in 2022. Reporting for SABC's Channel Africa in Lusaka, Zambia, I am Arthur Davis, Skopo. That report by Arthur bring the time to almost 20 minutes before 2 o'clock. More than 260,000 children aged under five may have died from extreme hunger or related diseases in East Africa since the start of the year. Well, that's according to a new analysis by Save the Children. Using data compiled by UN, Save the Children evaluated mortality rates for untreated cases of severe acute malnutrition in children under five across eight countries in East Africa. Using a conservative estimate, the humanitarian aid agency discovered that about 262,500 acutely malnourished children have died between January and November 2021. Director of Advocacy and Campaigns for East and Southern Africa, Kijala Shako, joins us now on the line. Kijala, thank you for joining us. Welcome to Africa Midday. Thank you. Now, have you been on the ground to find tangible evidence on, on the number of children that may have died as a result of malnutrition? Uh, 